know, this is a festival that sort of ignores sort of traditional boundaries between disciplines, and it is also sort of very interested in, in very ambitious collaborations. So I think the idea of pairing a choreographer with a with a uh, with an artist was already kind of in the tradition of, of Manchester International Festival. So I worked with a dancer called Davide de Pretora and he rehearsed these actions and then we brought him to a company in Prague who have what's called an optical tracking system. So he wears a very special suit which has these little balls on it that are very luminescent and the computer tracks the position of these balls in XYZ space. So what you get is you get a very precise record of, of, of maybe about 50 points in space on ankles and heads and arms and and then uh, there's a special piece of software that sort of strings all these flows of information together to give you an accurate set of positions. We built a virtual portrait of this dancer and that's what that's the figure you're seeing, the sort of every man soldier figure is the dancer. And then he can choose from these kind of vast motion capture data pots to make the actions in real time. So he makes these scenes as he goes along. All the actions of the soldier are mimicking um, the actions of soldiers releasing mortar fire. So, you know, that's all the crouching. So I found several thousand images of soldiers releasing bombs, and they have this very particular set of actions that they do, you know, crouching, sheltering. So the, the choreography in a traditional sense, you know, the shapes are, are, are derived from military documentation. I think it's very impressive. I saw it from a, a distance, and at the beginning I couldn't make out what it was. And when I concentrated on it, you know, it's quite impressive piece of art. You know, the installation is very uh, unique, really. I think the first thing is trying to work out if it's a real image or not, and then recognizing it's kind of a, a virtual image, which is quite nice, uh, which encourages you to look closer. Well, it's definitely interesting. I mean, it's some kind of uh, contemplation going on and uh, some kind of desolation because there's nothing there but him.